Vocês irão notar que nessa época a HE era extremamente OP E os pro players mais preocupavam em usar a HE do que a arma Porque ela era praticamente hit kill Estamos em época de Major, 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 CSGO, CSGO, Nuo, CS. Vocês sabem que o CSGO vem do CS Source, que vem do CS 1.6, que lá o Brasil também foi campeão mundial, tá ligado? E tem muitos jogadores que hoje são pro players de CSGO, porém que começaram no CS 1.6, tá ligado? E por que você tá falando isso, cachorro? Eu não tô entendendo, eu tô falando isso, rapaziada, porque eu quero saber se você sabe qual foi a primeira partida profissional de CSGO da história. História. Quando decidiram criar times, quando profissionalizaram esses times, quando houve uma primeira partida profissional oficial, quem eram os jogadores que estavam ali, quando foi, quando aconteceu. Hoje, no Globo Repórter. Eu vim trazer isso pra vocês e, mano, é bizarro. É bizarro porque, tipo assim, essa partida, essa primeira partida profissional do CSGO já tem mais de 10 anos. E aí você me pergunta, cachorro, você tá mentindo? Clickbait, porque, tipo assim, o CSGO fará 10 anos agora em agosto, que ele foi lançado em 21 de agosto de 2012. Então como que a primeira partida profissional tem mais de 10 anos? Rapaziada, a resposta é simples, porque a primeira partida profissional oficial do CSGO foi jogada no beta. E o beta do jogo era muito bizarro, tá ligado? Então vocês irão notar que tinha algumas coisas surreais. Tipo assim, ó, vou dar alguns exemplos. As granadas eram muito mais fortes, então HE era praticamente hit kill. HE explodiu no seu pé, mano, esquece. Famas era uma arma muito boa, muito boa mesmo. A faca Vanilla dos CTs e dos terroristas eram modelos de facas que hoje são skins, não são padrões. Bayonetta e Flip, mano... É bizarro, tá ligado? E assim, isso que eu vou falar agora é com base em estudo, porque eu não vivi essa época, mas vocês podem perguntar pra alguém experiente, ou, né, se tem alguém aí que tá vendo esse vídeo, que é da época, vai saber, mano, que o que eu tô falando é real, e talvez vai poder contar um pouco sobre as experiências dessa época. O CSGO, ele teve uma função muito importante, e havia uma expectativa muito grande em cima do CSGO para reviver o CS, porque naquela época, o Counter Strike estava perdendo força, o Counter Strike estava muito fraco no mundo inteiro. Os pro players, os jogadores, as pessoas estavam divididas entre CS 1.6 e o CS Source. Isso não era bom, tá ligado? Então o CS agora era uma grande promessa, as pessoas tinham muita expectativa sobre isso e olha que bacana, essa primeira partida foi entre Estados Unidos e Europa. Então uma seleção de jogadores americanos e uma seleção de jogadores da Europa. Alguns nomes que vocês conhecem. Sejam bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal Cachorro 337 e hoje o vídeo é esse. Em clima de Major, hoje eu mostro para vocês a primeira partida profissional de CSGO da história. CSGO.net. Na hora de depositar, utilize o cupom LORE e ganhe 40% de bônus. O Rian tem o um inventário mais caro do Brasil. Avalie. Bem, sabe da partida, dá pra notar ali alguns nomes conhecidos. Por exemplo, na equipe americana temos ali o Nothing, jogador lendário, muito conhecido no CS 1.6, que no CS GO fez muito sucesso também, principalmente jogando pela Cloud9. E na equipe europeia temos ali o Zonic, que é aquele coach, campeão de diversos majors pela Astralis, e o Get Right, campeão de major também pela NIP, jogador lendário, tanto do CS 1.6 quanto do CS GO, enfim. Now, all ready to go here on long A, over towards the uh, A bomb site, and they're gonna meet down in that counter terrorist born area. Começar por esse round de faca bizarro, onde os jogadores tinham Zeus, né? Zeus era novidade, então loucura. Flipzinha, faca padrão do TR. E baioneta, faca padrão do CT. Insta kill com uma HE. Vocês irão notar que eles usavam muita granada porque elas eram realmente muito fortes. Vocês 
Frog down to about half of his HP, and he's going to be putting pressure on here. Actually, they've not spotted him uh, quite well enough there. Trace was in a horrible position, and now we have just Frog left alive, and Khan comes around, and Europe are going to win the pistol round. Yeah. Uh, the early betas of CSGO, so uh, that's something that some of the, you know, we'll see how that works out. Wow. It looks like that was an M4. Yeah, that was a Deagle actually coming in around there. Storm actually picking up kill number two. It's looking good for the US. They've managed to push it onto this B-bomb site. Bomb will surely be planted here any moment. Now, there's another man coming up of close range. We saw there that the uh, Famas have been picked up by K-Shot, but there's three, get right. four, get right. Showing that he's an absolute beast. There's four for get right. Where's the last man? And he was actually standard. Uh, 1.6 tactic that they go oh, with yeah. here, which is the uh, smoke down one guy moving through into that counter terrorist spawn. As we see, nothing will get the first kill onto Khan. Trace brings it back quickly. Are they going to push through? No, they're not. They've not spotted Trace early enough behind them. That was a nice shot by Frod with the Deagle, uh, but it leaves just Frod and one more, which is Volcano down at the oh, end of Long, actually picking up two with the Deagle. Incredible range and accuracy that it's got at the moment. Seems to be the players do like that Deagle a lot. They seem to think it's very, very strong early on. So that's showing us pretty early that these Deagle save rounds could be pretty good. They don't, they don't know what positions to go for. And here we go. He's going to go around the corner and get right. We'll oh. come jumping in there. And again, superb reactions from the Swede. Bigger rifle from uh, the Americans. So this is where it should get interesting to see how the game is really going to play out. And there is K-Sharp and Volcano coming in with some big shots right there. And that makes it a little more challenging this round for the Europeans. Yeah, certainly a great start for the USA done in the past, easy. which means we are going to see some great action from them. Lurpis will go down as well to K-Sharp. And apparently K-Sharp's just killing everyone. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Your only Actually, person left is Get Right yeah, over here. Get Right, the last he's man been, alive. Who's yeah, yeah. You know, not maybe the worst player to have left alive on your team. He's going to come up here on that catwalk area, but the bomb is actually planted over in the other bomb site as he spots one man. And oh, that's three a lot of guys to shoot against. Yeah, and did get some hits off it, to be honest. Yeah, it's possible. They also seem to like the they like that from Oz, though. Mm. It seems to be a gun of choice. Yeah, we've not really seen uh, any M4s in play so far. I saw one from one of the uh, one of the members. I, I think, think that was, was like second round or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Trace. Yep. Oh, here we go. P90 from Khan. P90 Team Scope, cara. Que bizarro. Quem quem imaginaria isso? Flashes go over. Actually, that was a team flash which uh, which blinded him. I guess they're not quite used to the speed of the flashes uh, just yet in Counter Strike. Go a little bit faster, a little bit slower, maybe uh, faster. Actually, faster. They You're are. getting the correction uh, right from the Valve guy. That's yeah, good. Too stupid. Uh, but obviously, this is you no. Know, as I said, first ever Counter Strike Go uh, nice. game that we're seeing. There's a kill from K Sharp to open things up with that auto sniper. Frog's got the auto sniper. Volcano with the AK. They are going to push straight in onto this A bomb site. There is going to be a plant coming in and I don't think there's anything that we're going to be able to uh, do here, the Europeans. It is Sonic, the uh, Danish player from MTW, who will go wow. down to one. I'm not sure how uh, well that's been coordinated. Okay, it looks oh, like nice those are nicely done. He actually will take the head off nothing. Let's see if they can follow up here as the rest of those terrorist players come into the site. Volcano will actually drop him. Let's stick with Lopez because he's actually behind the box. Volcano spots him. We will see the grenades coming around now. Get right as well. Obviously, uh, the full European team going for the eco. There's the first uh, Molotov kill, I think, from Frod, using it to seal those B double doors off. And both players trying to hit each other's head, but kind of failing there. Oh, and we will see a, a nice knife. kill from Frod onto Trace as he comes Very rushing nice. out of the doors. And a little applause for that. Counter terrorist team, it's now their job to defend these bomb sites. Nesse momento, o placar zerou, mas na verdade o Ralph virou. Então, desconsidere isso. Pense que a partida continuou como estava, porque ela realmente continuou. And defuse the bomb if the uh, Europeans actually get them down in position. It's looking good early on, actually. As Lurpis and Get Right start moving in onto this B site. There's another one from Lurpis. Bomb is surely going to get planted here any second. In fact, no, it's not because the bomb is in the lower B tunnels. How did that happen? <laughs> Fail. Well organized. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get a chance to play it when we were, um, when we were playing earlier today and yesterday. Oh, and there's a great grenade straight down those middle double doors. Let's switch over to Frod, who is the last man standing with that P2000 replacement. Or the upgrade, actually, it is, for the uh, for the USP. That bomb has been taken away. Zonic is actually going to finish off the That's kill big... among the European players. 
as they start to head off towards this A bomb site. There is a Galil there. That's the. Uh... Isso mesmo, você não está vendo errado. Galil com scope. Esse era o CS Go Beta em 2011. E não era apenas um detalhe na arma. Esse zoom realmente funcionava. E <risos> era esquisito. Era como no Cersei 1.6. Só a tela que dava um zoom. Ele tem um zoom on it, the Galil? Wow, that's something I didn't know. <laughs> so the uh, Galil obviously been reworked a little bit. And I like the music when the bomb's planted as well, by the way. It makes it more intense. Uh, there's one guy down the end of Long A, which I'm not sure how well he's going to fare trying to push in here against the guys who've got Galil. Actually, get right, he's got a Deagle as well. I'm not sure if that was from the uh, pistol round or what. I think he maybe got that from one of the CTs. Yeah, and he is managing to hold on. Actually, Zonic will finish off down Long A from Europe. We did see a flash come down. Grenade lands onto Volcano right from the start of this one. Counter flash is coming in from the Americans, but Europe are already inside of that big pit. They're going to get ready to assault onto this A site. Get right will again take the lead. He's going to call in that there's a man around the corner. A little bit slow, actually. Frod already went down. Nothing was there as well. Here is Get right just jumping up on the walls. Actually, not really caring too much about his position, but Frog is the real threat, and he's taken down three to give us a 2v2. Get right has run all the way up. I think he's blind. There was a guy off, and the HP difference is significant here, you can tell. Yeah, I think it's one shot, and Khan's dead. So we should maybe stay a little bit hidden. Actually, decides to go for the shot, and will there be taken is. down. Headshot from Storm, and there will be enough time. Looks like they are. Yeah. I'm gonna save this one out. I think there's maybe only one or two Deagles max inside of that lineup, and they're just gonna rush quite simply up long A, which uh, against Americans those two dominated. auto snipers. And where did the rest of the side go? Ooh, nice Molotov actually going down there, followed up by the grenade. That was strategically done from uh, the USA. They actually put. <laughs> Oh. And, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Don't, don't you agree? I think good strategy. Yeah, it's strategically sound. I mean, it slows them down on yeah. both sides. Great stuff. However, Europeans then just push catwalk, which obviously wasn't yeah. uh, Molotov. And now they're uh, all over wow. the place. So get right again. We'll pick up two. Let's follow him. Last man left alive is Frod. I guess we can switch around. Now he's treating the auto sniper like his single shot. And uh, they're <laughs> switching out to his deagle. Yeah, he's on it now. Will get himself in onto Long, will get the kill onto Volcano. He knows there's a man on the uh, corner wow. as well, and he gets himself two. Frog goes down, only three men now left alive for the USA. Make that two. It's up to uh, Nothing and Storm. Let's see what they can pull off. There is Nothing, of course, player for Team EG. As they start to move in, that bomb is planted. Still three on two advantage for the Europeans. Nothing going down very, very low. It's now all on Storm. In this CT spawn, he does throw the grenade out, but there are two right in front of him here. He'll try to spray, runs out of ammo, surely will be taken down. Oh. Trace will get it, and that will be good games called. And the Europeans, midway, will win Congrats. this Congrats. 16 to 13. It was a pretty a great, good game. great game, though. Yeah, it was an excellent game, and I do like the change that they made. Um... Europa ganhou essa partida, mano. Que bizarro. Não parece o mesmo jogo, tá ligado? Não parece esse gol, então, né? Todo mundo gosta de criticar, mas, pô, parabéns, Valve. Você conseguiu criar um novo jogo dentro de um novo jogo sem mudar o jogo. Vocês, vocês entenderam. E é isso, guys. Tamo junto. Se inscreva no canal pra me ajudar a bater mil de inscritos. É isso, é nóis. Tamo junto. Valeu. Eu vim ao tempo por aqui. Até o um próximo vídeo no canal. Pra 337. Falou!